Hey family, welcome to The Hub. What's up, family? Welcome back to another episode of the Coach Cass Show. Yeah. <laughs> so I got another letter, Ask Coach Cass. And if you've never written in, you could check me on Instagram at Inspire Many. Just DM me your scenario, right? So here's a scenario here, <laughs> girlfriend. So Marita that lives in Mississippi, right? She, she wrote in saying, Coach Cass, I constantly feel like men are trying to humble me. Listen, I have my own house, got my own car. I have all the things, right? But I don't leave with those things when it comes to a date. I realize after a couple of dates, many of the men that I have been dating or choosing will say, oh, well, we don't need to go out. How about we just go to your house and you cook? How do I stop this? <laughs> Marita, girl. Oh, girl, I hear you. I feel you. I see. Listen, within my community that I lead with professional women called the Real Love Network, we have a statement that we say when, when you share um, your business, right? Um, I see you. I hear you. Okay. I see you. I hear you. So Marita, obviously, you're choosing the wrong men, okay? Because these just sound like some cheap dudes. At the end of the day, if you're only going on one or two dates, and I know you put some extra information in there saying, you know, these dates are TGIF and like Chipotle, these men are broke, right? It just is what it is. So instead of shutting them down, okay? Instead of shutting them down because Every broke man is not a bad man, right? Maybe he just doesn't have the resources. Maybe he's working on himself. We have to decide if we feel like waiting around for him to figure it out because we are not here to build a man like build a bear, right? And I believe in evangelism, but we are not here to save him, okay? I don't believe in evangelical dating. So when it comes to a man and he says, hey, you know, let's not do anything fancy. Let's just go to your house and you cook. Um, well, you know... I like to take things slow in dating and inviting someone into my home is something very intimate for me. And you pause and you see what he says, right? Oh, I understand shorty or, oh man, but you know, I've been spending all this money, all this money, you got me, right? <laughs> so we don't want to be rude. We want to practice our responses, right? Practice our responses. So that's one response. Another response is, how about instead we go for a walk in the park? Let's take a long walk around the park. Yeah, girl, right? So what are, what are some other things that can be done? Say, look, hey, you know, we don't have to do anything too extravagant. I believe dating is a way to get to know someone. So we could go for a walk in the mall. You know, if, if you live in a cold area, we could go for a walk in the mall. Would you like to go for a walk in the mall instead? Hang out at the food court? What's your favorite game at the arcade? Something simple, right? And if you go a couple dates in, yes, it's cool if you cook for him, but maybe you bring the food and y'all eat it somewhere, like a picnic. I know picnic's not a good word, like an outing in the park, right? So we don't need men in our homes. I, I remember I have a VIP client and she was saying that you know, just a part of her culture. She's still home raising her son. She has her parents there. And she felt some type of way that she couldn't bring men to her house because she felt more comfortable at home. But I started to push back on that and say, baby, we don't want any men in our home. If you are seeking marriage, if you're seeking long-term relationship, the one thing I realized, the only thing happening at home is some rustling in the sheets. It takes a lot a lot of self-control. If you have real chemistry with someone and you feel really compatible, or maybe it's just been a while that you let a lot of your guard down that needs not be down, right? People got to put in some work, honey, to get to all of this. So Marita, this is what I'm saying to you, honey bun. Um, 
push back a little, right? Push back a little. Don't, don't totally dismiss him, whoever the him is. And um, if they're not down to go out because you believe dating is going out and doing things and activities together, that is not the one for you. All right, girlfriend, and all of y'all listening in, keep loving, keep laughing, keep living. Till next time, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.